Um, hi, I'm Neil Gandhi. I'm a first year student at Ravel College in UCSD and my major is nano engineering with a focus in electrical engineering. I was a Cosmos alumni of 2011. Um, I was in cluster two control and design of kinetic sculptures. Um, Cosmos, what I'm really thankful for is my first opportunity uh, to conduct actual research. And so for the four weeks I was here, um, they guided me through uh, you know, finding a problem, um, we built a team and came up, to, came up with a solution to that problem and then presented that um, to, audi to the audience. And because of that research, I was able, and the like, methodology I learned because of Cosmos, I was able to replicate that um, throughout high school and connected a few more research projects. Um, one of my most favorite ones is the one I did in senior year where uh, my friend and I, for a senior project, uh, built and designed our own multi-touch computer. What it was is, um, the inspiration behind that was, if you look at computers now, um, they have a really strong processing power, but they have an ineffective interface because they're controlled solely by a mouse or a keyboard. But if you look at a tablet, like the iPad on the other hand, um, it has a really effective interface because you can use your fingers, you can use all 10 fingers to control the tablet, but it comes at the expense of the unit's processing power. It's uh, powered on an iOS software. So our goal is to combine both a strong processing power of a computer and the effective interface of a tablet. And what we did was we built a 40-inch multi-touch table. And basically what you can do is you can plug in any computer or laptop that you already have, plug it straight into the computer, and you have a 40-inch display, and you could have 20 fingers um, on the computer, or controlling the computer, which means you could have multiple people using it at the same time. And this is really effective for, uh, let's just say, doctors, for example. During a surgery, you can have someone monitoring um, oxygen levels on one side and uh, blood pressure on the other side. And there is a, a wide variety of applications available through this computer. And so that actually ties into the research that I'm doing now. What I did over the summer and what I'm continuing now, um, investing most of my time in, is a website called callmeh.com. It's spelled C-A-L-L-M-E-H.com. Basically what it is, it's a video conferencing software. And the inspiration behind that came from, um, I used to video conference with my friends and I realized the difficulty in it. You have to go on the website, you have to download, let's just say it was Skype, you have to go on Skype.com, you have to download an application for your um, computer, then you have to launch the application, you have to create a username and password, you had to register that, you had to remember each and every time you wanted to log in, you had to ask your friend for their uh, username, you have to find them, you have to add them, they would have to confirm it. Once both of you are online, then you, have to, then you could video conference with them. Yeah, and I thought this was an extremely long process which can be simplified. So the website I built, callme.com, you simply go on the website and it gives you a five digit randomly generated ID. Um, and so you just exchange the ID with a friend, you input your friend's ID and click enter and that's it. You could video conference with a friend uh, right in your browser. You don't need a username, you don't need a password, which eliminates the possibility of security breach. And so this is what I'm working on now and thanks to Cosmos um, and the methodology I learned on how to conduct research and the research project I conducted in Cosmos allowed me, not only inspired me to pursue engineering in college, but also uh, taught me how to do research which I was able to apply in my multi-touch computer project and my callme.com video conferencing website.